welcome to my channel. This is a serious discussion for entertainment, for which you may or may not be entertained. In this episode, we're going to discuss five reasons why we should choose metamaterials. What does meta mean? Meta is a Greek word. Meta is Greek, and when you translate it, it means to go beyond. This is akin to the Stanley Kubrick cinematographer masterpiece of 2001 A Space Odyssey. The third chapter of this movie was Jupiter and Beyond the Infinite. Now, did Dave Bowman go into some metamaterials? Was the monolith made of metamaterials? Were the aliens who created the monolith, were they made of metamaterials? This is something to consider. George Palakaris is the CEO of Metamaterials. He's a very young Greek guy. He's only 40 years old. That's young. I'll say this. Once you get up to that age, it really puts things in perspective. <laughs> but he's Greek. And just like this other notable Greek guy, John Stamos. Investing in metamaterials today is like investing in plastics back in the 70s. Remember that Dustin Hoffman movie, The Graduate? Someone comes up to him and says one word, kid, plastics. A child comes up to me after graduating and I say to them, one word, kid, metamaterials. Let's go beyond. Beyond the infinite. Maybe into the monolith. Maybe we'll become a star baby. You never know. Another reason we should invest in metamaterials is it's low price. Metamaterials today is only under $5. What a steal to invest in the future for only under $5. Just think about that. Metamaterials has numerous applications today, and they just updated their patent library. They have over 271 global patents. That's quite a bit, and their patent library grows every day. They're also opening up a state-of-the-art metamaterials factory in Canada next to the Ashley Furniture. Metamaterials is a global company. They have hired some people from all over the world. Metamaterials likes to pride itself on diversity. Today is 2021. We like to use such buzzwords as inclusivity, diversity, and other notable adjectives. Metamaterials uses all of those buzzwords in their hiring process. They like to have a diverse range of people from all walks of life. This reminds me of a speech I went to from Nichelle Nichols. She was a Hura in the William Shatner Star Trek. And I went, this is when I was living in San Francisco, and I went to the NASA Ames Research Center at Moffett Field, and we watched a speech. We watched Nichelle Nichols give a speech about NASA and her recruitment for NASA, and she was charged of recruiting people who are more diverse and bringing in the diversity into NASA. Medmaterials like to pride itself on diversity. That little tiny nanoweb what metamaterials pride and joy is that little nanoweb mesh so small but it has so many different applications it's extremely diverse ceo george palakaris is an antenna engineer 
nanoweb can increase wavelength propagations by over 52%. Nanoweb can be used in 5G antennas to help propagate those wavelengths. Nanoweb can be used in transparent 5G antennas to propagate the radio wave through windows, a limiting factor in 5G. 5G is limited in distance. It can only go about 1,000 feet. And windows, but with new nano web applications, just think about it. How many windows can turn into antennas? How many windows can now track your data? It's wonderful, the future. Think about it, the future, the future is here. When I was a child, the future was Marty McFly's hoverboard and 3D Jaws. And well, some things came to fruition. For one, they're remaking all the movies. Although 3D has stopped, that, that was a gimmick. It didn't last for too long, 3D. Some theaters even tried a 4D approach. Alas, Hollywood's out of fresh ideas, so we're remaking movies. I can't wait until The Room is remade. I think it'll be a classic. Oh, wait, they did sort of remake The Room, didn't they? Well, they made Disaster Artist. But I can't wait for The Room to be remade and then The Disaster Artist to be remade with a re-remake of the room. How meta is that? These are just some of the reasons why you should buy meta materials. It's futuristic. If you like tech and thinking about the future, perhaps meta materials is for you. I mean, what is the future? Eventually, the universe will just sort of dissolve anyways. Will we even leave our solar system before the sun explodes? Will we be able to colonize other worlds and moons as the sun heats and gets bigger? Or Will we just destroy the planet and ourselves before we can even achieve that? The future is very uncertain. Does it even matter? I don't know. You tell me. This was a serious due diligence about metamaterials. I... We'll see you soon. Or maybe I won't see you soon because the universe will destroy itself. If a rogue planet hit the Earth tomorrow, then I might not see you soon. It'll be like that Dragon Ball Z when they remade it for America. And instead of saying, I'll see you in hell, they had to say, I'll see you in the next dimension. Well, maybe I'll see you in the next dimension. This is my farewell. I've been told that saying goodbye abruptly is too short. I'm glad that those are like some of the concerning criticisms of my videos and not like the numbers or the research. The true heart of the video is never criticized. I'll take it as a compliment. And leaving, using the George Costanza model of leaving on a good note, I will see you soon. Farewell.